Hello Aries, welcome to your general monthly reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this message finds you well. Let's just dive right into this Aries. I'm going to be starting with the Animal Spirit deck to get you a little bit of an overall message or an overall energy in terms of your month, the messages for this month. And then we're going to dive into the general freestyle spread using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot to get you a deeper message for clarity in terms of your month of April, yeah? So let's get into this, Aries. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries at this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please make me a clear and open channel to bring forward the best messages that Aries needs to hear at this time to serve their highest good and to bring them the best clarity for their month of April of 2022. All right, Aries, let's get into this. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you this month. Here we go. This is one. What messages do we have for Aries this month, please, Spirit? This is two. Three. Four. For Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. And this is five. All right. Let us get into this. What's going on for you, Aries? <laughs> shark all right uh okay aries what i'm hearing here for you um is you're not to be fucked with this month <laughs> and then overall energy you do have this wow overall here you do have butterfly at the underneath butterfly you do have unicorn and i actually i really want to take both of these for you yeah and we're going to leave it there, Spirit's saying. So you've gone through a pretty serious transformation, Aries, over the course of... Huh. What I'm hearing is since the new year. Um, the lunar new year. Okay. So what happened for you guys here is... And actually, I feel like this is very much connected to uh, Uranus's movement through the Zodiac. Now, from my perspective here on divine conversations, when we talk about astrology, I talk about astrology from true sidereal, the true sidereal practice, okay, um, which takes into account where the, const the, the, the the planets actually are in terms of the constellations. Uh, it also takes in Ophiuchus into account. I mean, if you're not familiar with me, there's a little bit of background there. But if you do know me, then you kind of already understand this. And actually, you heard me talk about this. Um, for a while, but Uranus, uh, in, tr in tropical astrology, Uranus is in Taurus right now, but in true sidereal astrology, Uranus is actually in the constellation of Aries. And that has been really helping us, especially with Uranus's retrograde movement, that movement that did happen. It does happen like at, at once every year, six months out of the, every year. Um, so it's really not that, you know, uncommon for Uranus to go retrograde, but for the collective here, especially on Divine Conversations, for those of us that were connecting with Divine Conversations here, Uranus has been moving through Aries, and it technically still is in Aries. And that on a universal, on a, on a, on a, a generational scale, because Uranus is one of the further planets out there, it has been influencing the collective to go through this shift in identity, change into a new alignment that is in greater alignment to not only who we are as an individual, but who we are as a soul, having this incarnated physical experience um, and our soul's alignment. And for you, obviously, Aries, you know, it, this has been moving through your sign. Um, so this probably has been heavily affecting you. Um, it really has been affecting all of us. But for you, Aries, that is coming through specifically. And because of that, because of this transformation you've gone through in terms of all of this, you have become quite a force to be reckoned with right now. You are showing up as the shark. Um, and I don't feel like you're really trying to be malicious. You know, sharks tend to get a little bit of a bad reputation because, yes, they are predators. Um, but, you know, they're, and they're fairly territorial. OK, so I am kind of getting that energy. But really, a shark is just a really strong competitor. It's a predator. You know, it's it, it, it's it's. 
it's okay what i'm picking up on here for you aries is you're not really out there to try and hurt anybody but god forbid anybody really kind of get in your way and what i'm getting with the unicorn energy here for you aries is that you have a strong level of self-belief many of you have gotten connected to a deeper aspect of your soul that really brings out the magic within you um, but what i'm really feeling strongly for you especially with this unicorn energy and which is kind of making you into this shark energy or this energy energy of being a really fierce competitor is the fact that you have a whole new sense of belief in yourself, okay? There is nothing that you cannot do. And that all comes from this transformation that you've gone through, especially uh, connected to how Uranus has been moving retrograde or, and just been moving through your sign. And you're an Aries, you are the sign of the self. Aries rules the first house, okay? So like, this is all about your sense of self, your identity. And I just feel like you really come out of this transformation or this this phase um, in, a, in a really in a really beautiful way. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, Aries, that I really don't feel like this transformation that you've gone through was at all in any way, shape, or form easy. I know for me, it wasn't easy. I mean, I, I am technically in sidereal astrology. I'm an Aries son, okay? So this has directly affected me. And I can totally say that I absolutely understand this energy. I understand how you're feeling. I understand how this sense of belief that you've come into has really transformed yourself and transformed your life. And this is a really, really beautiful energy for you, Aries. I'm actually very excited to get into the rest of your reading here and see what this transformation means for you throughout the month of April and moving forward. Because keep in mind, guys, this is not some sort of transformation that's just going to fade away. No, this is you really kind of being set up for a hell of a lot of success in your life moving forward from here. Now, the last thing that I want to point out, Aries, before we move forward into the to the general the, the freestyle spread here, um, I did hear specifically that something about the Lunar New Year. So I, I personally don't exactly remember when that happened. Um, but it, what I'm feeling is, or what I'm hearing for you, Aries, is that that's when this real true activation came online for you. All right, that was that that was that moment where energetically everything came together, and you were really able to stand in or step into the full representation of this new sense of personal power. Okay, I really wanted to make sure I pointed that out there because I did hear that very very clearly for you. All right, let's move forward, Aries. I'm gonna give this five shuffles here, and we're gonna get into the rest of your reading for the month of April. Yeah, this is one. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, this is two. What messages do we have for Aries for the month of April, please, Spirit? For Aries, this is three. Four. For my Aries. And five. All right. Excellent, Aries. I'm going to cut the deck here for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aries. You do have the Page of Pentacles. And what I'm hearing with this Page of Pentacles, Aries, is that the new start is officially underway. All right. This new start for you may, for many of you, may very well be centered around career and finances. You may have started a new job. You may be starting, you know, multiple new projects. You may have a new uh, alignment in terms of your career and finances. Uh, many of you, I do feel that for uh, that there is an energy here of really wanting to clean up your finances or your physical reality. Um, you have a new goal in mind. You have a new understanding of what it is you truly want out of life, mainly in terms of the physical or the material here. Um, in, 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 some, in some cases, Aries, this energy kind of feels like you've grown up in a sense. You're taking more responsibility. You want more ownership of certain things. This may simply be a situation where you come to realize that, you know, you want to own a house or you want to buy some property. Maybe you want to start a family eventually. 
you know, um, you want a new car or something like that. It's just, and it doesn't have to be so materialistic and trivial. It just feels like there's a much more mature energy about you right now that has got you in this mind space of, I want to do better. I want better for myself. I want better for my family. I want better for my future. And that's, and, and I'm hearing in terms of that Aries, you are really hitting the ground running. So that's beautiful. Underneath the page of pentacles, you do have the high priestess. Underneath the High Priestess is the Knight of Cups. And then underneath the Knight of Cups is none other than the King of Wands. There is that shark-like energy for you right there, Aries, okay? Again, I don't feel like this is malicious for you, okay, Aries? I really truly feel like this is just you being very determined, uh, very much focused on your goals, focused on what it is that you want. I just feel like you're very serious, okay? And yes, God forbid or heaven forbid any anybody come and try and get in your way or try and compete with you because I... I what I really feel like here, Aries, and what I just heard is you're kind of in a league of your own. So it's not even like there is any real competition. If there is any sort of competition right now, Aries, it's between you and yourself. Okay? This is really fucking awesome. I'm gonna, we're going to move forward here. We're going to get into the first half of your reading. And the first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Yes? All right, Aries, 11, 11 on the counter. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have the world, full completion. I, I really feel like, Aries, whatever phase or, um, yeah, I want to call it a phase. Whatever phase you, um, you were in in the past, you are completely done with that. Okay, you have literally stepped out of that old phase of your life, and I actually really, I really want to call that adolescence. It's a level of adolescence. Okay, regardless of what your age is, um, this feels like a like a soul type of adolescence in a way. And I guess maybe we should just call it that, or that's what spirit is calling it, because whatever energy or the phase that you've stepped into now is one of much greater maturity and much greater clarity. Okay. Even if maybe you're still dealing with a little bit of confusion or the unknown in the physical, in terms of who you are at the core of your being, there's a lot more clarity in terms of who you are, what it is that you want, um, and all that kind of stuff. And that's really also what's helping you be such a fierce competitor. Okay. There's a strong sense of strong level of, um, oh, okay. I just heard emotional maturity for some of you. All right. That you have stepped into that is the next phase in your life. So whatever that all the past stuff is done. Beautiful. The world is coupled with, oh shoot. Look at that. The queen of wands, divine alignment. This is another example Aries of just how confident and vibrant and magical you are because the queen of wands definitely represents like the witch type of energy um the the witch archetype but not in the sense of like a well it could be it could be a white you could be a white witch you could be a dark witch a black witch it doesn't matter um but it it, it represents that energy aries because the queen of wands is the magical one or she's the receptive one she is the one that sits back and allows her vibration her magneticism, uh, a magnetic, I think that's a word, uh, her, her feminine qualities of receptivity to draw what it is that she wants towards her. Okay. Um, so what I'm getting in terms of the world and the queen of wands for you here, especially since you're also showing up as the king of wands at the bottom of the deck overall energy here, right? What I'm getting from the queen of wands and the world is that whatever cycles you have completed here, they have helped you step into a fuller sense of your divine manifestational power. There is definitely a level of self-belief that you have cultivated throughout what I, I really kind of want to call this an initiation phase. Okay, Aries, I just realized we didn't really talk about <laughs> your overall energy here. Um, 
Well, other than the Page of Pentacles. But okay, so let's go back to that because now that's what I'm being drawn to. You have the High Priestess here as your overall, well, part of your overall energy. And that to me is representing this uh, initiation phase, this, this phase that you, over the course of, you know, Uranus moving retrograde or whatever it is that you went through before this new lunar new year, okay, it definitely may have felt like some sort of... Um, uh, hazing period by the universe. But really, you were going through a training, a training process that has helped step you up the vibrational ladder and has helped you get more in tune with your heart's desire, what it is you truly want out of life. It's also put you in a position to feel way more confident to follow the truth of your heart. So when we get into this first set of surrounding energies with the world and the queen of wands, this is you fully stepping into your vibration of what it is you truly want and really not allowing anything to hold you back any longer. Feeling really confident, maybe even feeling really sexy, um, having a lot of, gaining a lot of attention, all eyes on you type of thing, but it's really, but it's from a humble place, Aries. It's not for any other reason other than the fact that this is just naturally who you are at this place, at this phase. And you couldn't stop it if you tried. That is so awesome, Aries. Let's get into this. Let's move forward here. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. You have temperance. Uh, immediately, I'm picking up on some sort of Sagittarian energy, uh, whether that is because you have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, I'm not, I mean, maybe you could be connecting with a Sagittarius, but honestly, I feel like with the Sagittarian energy that came to mind here, I feel like you are actually connecting with the archetype or have been connecting with the archetype of Sagittarius, which is represented by temperance here. But in terms of that, the archetype of Sagittarius is the philosopher. Sagittarius rules the ninth house in astrology. The ninth house is all about um, travel, travel to foreign lands, uh, learning and communicating with different languages. Um, it could be something as minor as, you know, going from your hometown uh, in, say, I don't know, uh, Kansas and going out to a, a big city like New York City or Los Angeles or just a, a, a place that is on the completely other side of the country. It could be something like that. But Sagittarius is really all about expanding your horizons, okay? And with this temperance energy and the immediate Sagittarian connection that I picked up with that, you went through a process in the past leading up until now that really expanded your mindset, that expanded your view. Some of you feel like you were ripped out of your comfort zone um, and effectively you were okay and it helped you transform yourself which is ultimately transforming your life and it got you into a place Aries where you are now way more in alignment with the universal energies and what I'm hearing here are and in terms of the universal energies who you naturally and truly are as a spiritual being having this physical incarnated experience excellent Temperance is coupled with the Page of Wands. Absolutely. Look at all these, look at all this wands energy for you so far in the courts, right? Obviously, you do have the Page of Cups and the, the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. But there, the, the wands energy in the King, the Queen, and now the Page are absolutely talking about your transformative process here. Okay, and also you're a fire sign, so this makes perfect sense why you would have all this fiery transformative energy showing up for you here. But this re-alchemization stage or this temperance energy has absolutely transformed you into a new sense of the person that you are truly meant to be. Um, this is you re-identifying yourself, realigning yourself, emerging from this transformative process as a new form of yourself with a new message, with a new drive, with new inspiration, with new creative projects or new creative understandings or new directions that you want to move in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Your challenge here, Aries, in the first half of your reading in regards to the past, Ten of Pentacles. Again, long-term goals. I did pick up on that in the, in, the, in the beginning here for you, didn't I? I feel like I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm con... Oh, wait, no. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confusing that with a Patreon reading that I did today. By the way, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations if you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month, including somewhat daily readings. Yeah, excellent. But anyway, uh, Ten of Pentacles. I am hearing a long-term focus for you, Aries. So in terms of this transformative process that you went through, this re-alchemization 
right? Represented by temperance here. Um, some of you had long-term goals that were already in mind for you that you couldn't seem to reach or the energy that you were in or the process that you were going about it in the past. I, I feel like mainly it's your energetic alignment from the past was not conducive to the long-term goals you had in mind. And thus, the, inf the, 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 in the, the universe here came through and influenced this change within your personal sense of alignment. I'm also hearing within your personality that got you into a place where you could, you have a better chance of reaching those long-term goals, okay? Effectively put you into this shark-like energy for you to be able to strive and push through and power through and really be a force to be reckoned with here, right? Excellent. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, and then there's the Knight of Wands. You officially have all four of the car court cards showing up for you. And this is literally what the challenge of the past was. This is literally what this transformative process was. This is literally the phase that the, 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 the cycle that you stepped out of from the past that you now if, to only step into the new cycle of you being in direct alignment and ready to power through towards your long-term goals, your long-term vision. OK, also for some of you, maybe this was something that you didn't realize you wanted or you wanted to go through until you stepped into this new power, until you stepped out of this transformation, this transformative phase, this realchemization phase and stepped into your new power and new alignment. And now you have a, a greater vision of what it is you want to strive for in the long term. Whether that be a house, a car, a family, a business, a career, whatever it is. Now you're in direct alignment with it. And you are, in fact, a force to be reckoned with. And that's fucking awesome, Aries. Closing message or potential outcome for you in the first half of your reading. You've got the Four of Wands ready to go, ready to build, okay? The Four of Wands is definitely an energy of celebration. It's a, it's a celebratory energy. But in your celebration, this is not time to rest on your laurels because there is still work to be done. And what is that work? The building of whatever it is you're trying to build on the foundation, the creative solid foundation you now have. I often say the Four of Wands is representative of building a house from scratch, right? First, you've got to get the plot of land. You've got to prepare the land. Then you've got to lay the foundation. Let's say you're, you're laying a concrete foundation. You have to pour that first. And then you have to let it dry. Great. The foundation has dried, but hold on. We're not ready yet because now the foundation needs to set before you can actually start building on the house or the rest of the house or the rest of the structure that you've laid this foundation for. At this point, Aries, I feel like that foundation is poured, dried and set and is ready to be built upon. Excellent. Four of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Wands, look at that, there you go. Clear and open opportunity. No more obstacles in your way. You are ready to build at this point, Aries. This is awesome. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, yes? So the second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies moving off onto the future. So what could be coming down the pipeline for you or what you can kind of expect moving off into the future. But keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes, not everything is going to resonate for everyone. Here we go. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. In the second half of your reading, ooh, we do have the Five of Wands. I don't think this is a bad thing. I really don't, because what I feel like here is you just working out the kinks, you going about the process of building, okay? Yeah, this really just feels like an energy of you going about building the pro building your empire or creating whatever it is that you want, working out the kinks in your structure, maybe even trying to figure out a plan of how to move forward. Okay, so also this five of wands for some of you is think is you maybe getting with yourself or getting with some team members or like talking to your friends or whatnot, whatever, trying to work out the kinks, trying to understand how to go about building whatever it is that you want to build or achieving or accomplishing whatever it is you're looking to achieve or accomplish. Okay. This is you. This is not, this is not anything other than you trying to put a plan of action together, or at least just trying to understand what exactly it is you want to manifest, create, or build. For some of you, I am hearing what it is you want to start with and then how to move forward towards it, okay? 
Five of Wands is coupled with the sun. Oh my God, this is beautiful, Aries. This is such an awesome energy for you, okay? So now that you have the clarity, the understanding, the bright future ahead of you, this is really you saying, okay, now how do we go about this? How do we do this? What is our plan of action? Very much emperor energy, and you are represented by the emperor in the high, in the, uh, the, the major arcana here, right? I would be very interested to see if the emperor comes out for you. But ultimately, this is you having a sense of clarity and understanding what it is, at least what it is you want for your future, and then ironing out the kinks of how to get there. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading. Ooh, five of pentacles. Why? Why is this five of pentacles here? Coming out of the cold is what I'm hearing. Okay, five of pentacles is coupled with the eight of swords. This is unexpected. But actually, Aries, what I'm hearing for this is this is an energy of you confronting certain situations in the past that left you out in the cold and have you feeling closed off. Oh, I understand. I understand now because this is also connecting to the five of wands here. The five of wands and the sun. So you have this bright, shining energy ahead of you, okay? You have clear and open space. And now that you're in this shark energy, now that you have gone through this transformation that has put you in this sharp energy, shark energy, and now that you have the self-belief on fleek like this with the unicorn energy, you are able to face certain elements of your past that held you back and do away with them for good. Okay. Okay. Okay, excellent. Let's move forward. Your challenge here, Aries, in the second half of your reading, the Two of Cups. Getting on the same page with yourself. For some of you, the challenge here is getting on the same page with a lover. Now, also, this five of... Okay. If you guys are in some sort of a, a relationship with somebody... This absolutely could be representing, um, I want to say you guys kind of uh, breaking apart or moving, uh, gravitating away from each other. Because there's this really strong sense of drive here that's showing up for you, Aries, it may kind of leave a partner that you are with right now or that you've been seeing or someone you've been dating or whatnot, whatever. It may leave them in a sense of alienation. Because you are being successful, you are striving forward, you are meeting the demands. And maybe they're not as focused as you are. Maybe they're not as driven as you are. So that also could be where this Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords energy is coming through. That also could be some sort of external conflict, Five of Wands. I really, I feel like you're so focused on your drive and your commitment to yourself and to building your future that it may cause some challenges in your romantic situations. Okay. Now also this two of cups could represent you getting on the same page with yourself. And that takes us back to this five of wands energy where you're trying to work out the kinks. How do we move forward? How do we go about getting what it is that we are striving for? Building the empire that we wish to, uh, to build. Two of cups is coupled with the seven of wands. Okay, for some of you, this absolutely does have a romantic connotation. And a, a, a breakup is possible here because I really do feel like the Two of Cups does represent a sense of internal union, Aries. And you could be defending yourself against someone that I guess kind of feels like you're alienating them or you are pulling away from them because you have found this new sense of camaraderie within yourself. I feel like your challenge here, Aries, it really is you defending yourself or defending your own personal alignment against someone else that actually might be in a little bit of a FOMO energy 
uh, fear of missing out energy or um, misery loves company. I, I feel like for some of you here, you are in such a solid state that you are actually able to recognize how certain romantic relationships or certain external connections with other people may be holding you back. I really feel like this challenge here is you defending, I'm hearing your right to choose, uh, but also your own personal sense of alignment because that two of cups definitely does feel like your inner masculine and feminine energies having found a sense of union and that may be disrupting a certain relationships that you have with people external to you. But what I really want to encourage within you, Aries, is for you to understand that you have every right to defend your own sense of alignment. And if you find now that you've come to this really wonderful state, this really great stage of personal alignment, and other people don't like it, or it's a direct affront to certain associations, friendships, relationships, romantic partnerships that you've had, it's changing the dynamic of those partnerships. I kind of want to allow, I, I really want to encourage you to fight for your own personal alignment because it may be time for you to end those relationships. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading. The Ace of Wands. See, you're inspired. You've got a new sense of direction. You've got a new drive. You've got a new way of being. You've got a new, a new direction to move in. And I feel like you have, I really feel like you should you should own that. You have every right to follow through what is truly inspiring you because you did go through a, an, initi an, an initiative process that is allowing you to be in direct alignment with what it is you truly want. And if that doesn't resonate or, or if that is in conflict to what it is you strove for in the past, I mean, you have every right to change, to make a decision, to change your alignment, to change your mind. And quite frankly, Aries, whatever it is you're striving for now is in greater alignment with who the, with the truth of who you really are. So I highly encourage you to defend that and to go for that. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Swords. So certain for some of you, you have certain relationships or associations. I am hearing specifically romantic partnerships that have in fact been holding you back. And you need to let these go. You need to allow yourself to believe in yourself enough to let these things go. Okay? For others of you, this isn't necessarily relationships. These are things, jobs, um, opportunities, or things that you had been striving for in the past that really weren't working out for you. But whatever alignment you have now, Aries, this is effectively ending those toxic situations, those painful situations, those really troubling situations and is allowing you to move forward in something fresh, clear, and brand new. And this is beautiful for you. I love it. All right, Aries, let's close out this reading with some Oracle guidance for you. And I'm going to get that from the Oracle of the seven energies. Here we go. Five shuffles here. One. Closing messages for Aries, please. Spirit, sun, moon, rising, and north node. This is two. Three. Four. And five. All right, closing Oracle Guidance, please, for Aries for the month of April of 2022. <laughs> okay, you have two cards here, Aries. Uh, First card is a powerful move. And then finally, you have smoke and mirrors. Okay, let's get, uh, I'm hearing, I just want to read the key words for this, but let's start there and see where it takes us. Um, first card I want to read actually is smoke and mirrors. Key concepts here are, Seeing through the lens of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what's being offered, healing from misguided perceptions, 
moving beyond the illusion of separation, being accountable for your biases and the way you view the world. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and read both of these. We're actually built to view the world inaccurately. Our five senses tell us where we are separate from one another. We're conditioned to see time as linear. This creates a consciousness of delineation, separation, and finality, or finality. We have an innate fear that what we see is all there is. Although we know deep down there is more, we are suspicious of it. Our fear of death results from this kind of perception. The entire world is a construct of smoke and mirrors, and our job is to discover the truth that lies beyond this illusion. Discoveries at the frontiers of science align with what the ancients have known. At the atomic level, we are blinking lights and empty space. Consciousness is fundamental. Time can be bent, and we are eternal. Ask yourself if what you see is really what you are looking for. What do you sense beyond your intellectual assessment of, quote, what is? Can you drop into your heart and soul and call for a vision, a feeling, an awareness of the, of the true and authentic? Every day, remind yourself that you are intrinsically connected to all life. The universe needs you to learn about it. You have within you extraordinary magic with which to co-create life beyond your wildest expectations. Today, trust your inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more, even if outer conditions appear to challenge that. It's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not exactly as they seem. And finally, you have card number 15, a powerful move. Key concepts here. Action, movement with purpose, effort, putting into motion your intention, making choices from an empowered and thoughtful place, positive change. The time for rest is over. Change is in the air. This is a powerful time when deliberate action is needed to move your intentions out of the realm of thought and into the material, from ideas into action. How do you approach your relationship to the invisible world as it influences the visible? Do you see the relationship? Do you recognize yourself as a unique whole and worthy being who has a special place in the world, whose offerings are valuable and whose life has meaning? You are a mighty co-creator, so step into that power and see your intentions manifest in the world. Real, positive change is possible when you make choices from an authentic sense of self and take a conscious step towards your dreams. To take steps towards your intended experience, start first with the way you think. Let curiosity be the focus now. And display a willingness to discover new things instead of confirming your past expectations. Be open, be clear about your motives and desires, and set your intention. Then step into the magic just waiting for you to claim it. Traveling, moving, flowing, flying, whatever describes the changes in your life, know that these are called for now. Act with thoughtfulness and awareness and remember to be true to yourself. What is called for now is, quote, doing the thing that needs to be done, unquote. All will be better than well. What an exciting time indeed. Excellent, Aries. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this was helpful for you. This was absolutely beautiful. This is such a beautiful energy for you. I really, really am happy for you here. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Just check the description box below where you'll find a list of the readings that I offer and uh, my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I would be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And as always, oh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations for extra content with me throughout the month, even uh, discounts on your personal readings for certain tiers. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Aries, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes, beautimus. <laughs> Bye.